All right, my friend, the truth of the matter is not all customers are created equally. I know that that doesn't really sound the greatest, but it is the direct truth. In a free and open market, where economic transactions, where we exchange money for goods and services, both parties have to volunteer and consent to the transaction that's taking place. Yet no doubt you've heard that the customer is always right. Now, what I would like to do is I'd like to modify that or clarify it to say your best customers are always right. And that's because it's our best customers, our repeat buyers, people who we've developed really close, strong relationships with, who we truly want to work with and take care of. But what about everybody else? What about customers who are extremely price sensitive, who phone you every other day over this issue or that issue? Well, you can voluntarily choose to continue transacting with them or not. Okay, here's a quick story to illustrate exactly what I'm talking about. I was offering support, technical support, for a free online learning workshop. I had reached out three days prior to ensure that all non-paying participants were all set up and ready to go. Two hours before the workshop session was set to begin, I get an email from a participant saying my password isn't working, and furthermore, the links that you sent me for the workshop, which are protected behind that same very password, well, they don't work either. As you might guess, I'm kind of scratching my head going, how do you know that the links don't work if they're password protected and you're saying that your password isn't working? Then this free participant continues. I need help ASAP in order to access this session. Here's my phone number. Call me right away. So I phone. No answer. No voicemail. No nothing. It just rings and rings. I try two more times. Still no answer. The online training session begins. No problem. Everyone else is in and they were able to access and things are underway. 20 minutes into the online session, I get an email from the same person and they are furious at me that they are unable to join the training session. I finally get them on the phone and then I proceed to get chewed out for being so completely incompetent and unprofessional and disorganized on my part. Yep. These are the sorts of folks that I'm talking about. Of course, in a perfect world, you and I would be able to serve all kinds of different people. We want to help people, but the reality of the situation is you and I, we only have so much energy per day and there are only, you know, 16, if you're lucky, good working hours per day. That's it. We're limited, in other words. These limitations and restrictions mean that we simply can't help and serve everyone, especially people who are self-entitled, who feel that they're entitled to our time and to our efforts, who think that we should work for them for free. To be frank and be direct, fire these sorts of people immediately. Fire them clearly and directly and quickly. Now, here's what I mean by this. Be sure that they understand in no uncertain terms that you can no longer help them. You can phrase this however you want. You might say something like, well, it seems like I'm no longer able to meet your needs. You could say something like that. And then what you do is you give them the contact information for your biggest competitor. The other thing I mean when I say all this is fire them quickly. Here what I mean is, if you're seeing, let's call them problem red flags, if you're seeing problem red flags left and right, the sooner you let them go, the sooner you can continue to support and make room for your best customers because, again, don't forget, you and I and every other business on the planet are operating under the restriction of time and energy. Never forget the truth of the matter that you and I and everyone else has a limited time and energy every single day. You can only help a limited number of people. Imagine your online business as if it were like a 500 seat auditorium. 
wouldn't it make sense and wouldn't you prefer to fill all 500 seats of your auditorium with your absolute best customers, people who love what you do, who understand the value that you're offering, who respect your time and value the products and the services that you've developed? Now, I'm not saying be a jerk here. What I'm saying is that some people simply don't value your time or your work or your effort. They don't consider the sorts of problems that they're creating for you. Either they don't care, they're totally selfish and self-centered, or they're completely oblivious, or they feel entitled to you and to your time for whatever reason. I don't really care to psychoanalyze the true root cause of any of this. What I'm suggesting instead is to simply remove these people from your business instead of choosing to voluntarily transact with them. Instead of engaging them in some kind of an economic transaction, turn them away so that you can make room for people who do care. All right, now, you know what? We don't want to stop here. Let's keep going with all this stuff. And I've got lots and lots more in store for you. Pop open a new browser tab and head on over to 10tononline.com forward slash sales, where you'll find a free full speed online sales class that I've set up for you. This is a free self-paced online class that I've carefully put together for you to give you the exact key in-depth info you're going to need to get sales rolling in and increasing revenue and profitability honestly and ethically. That is the name of the game, my friend. So top up your coffee, grab something to take notes with, and I'll catch you over there in just a second.